Are we all ever going to be on a podcast again together? Nope. No, nah, but all the haired people are here. That's true. Zach's gone. I'm glad to be back. Look, yeah, we I was got, looking we got forward Schmidt to this. Back. I know, because Presley's First episodes not... I've ever missed. I know. Presley's not the showrunner anymore. I'm sorry. Is, is that good? Uh, I don't know. We'll see how you do today. This is this is your... Even though you had the position, you're you in for another job back. interview. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you got to claim it back. I yep. think Presley did good, though. He did stop. No. Okay. Seriously, stop. All right, I'll stop. All right, then just do your Presley thought, then. You're back to your normal. See, yeah. that was a lot of responsibility, because I had to show run and do a Presley thought. Wow, yes. you had to show run and say, like, three words at the yep. beginning. Oh. That intro is harder than it looks. We didn't even do that anymore. I don't know why you did that. What? Well, Welcome probably because I, the... I wasn't on for, like, a month. I didn't realize we uh, stopped doing that. Oh, okay. Fair. Why did we stop that? I thought we talked about that a while I ago. legitimately forgot. Just because we just wanted to, boom, start talking. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I guess everybody else does that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so your thought. All right. Just remember, a selfie taken by an orphan is technically a family photo. Oh. Because it's just, <laughs> it's just It's just them. them. Yeah. I get Not it. Did you get that? Take a minute. Their, okay. their parents it. didn't love them enough to keep them. Right. <laughs> And so yeah, it's just their parents died. Or they're no. Yeah. Or they're yeah. That's or they're <laughs> yeah. You know. You know. Batman. 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 They didn't oh, gosh, love them enough, is... so they died. Well, I never thought of a selfie being a family photo. That's oof. That that hits you right in the oof. You know, I gotta tell you. If um <laughs> if it meant that my son would become Batman, I would, die. I would die. Yeah. I would do it. I would walk down a lot of alleys. No, that's weird. I would walk down a lot of if, alleys. If you named your son Peter Parker, and he was Batman, mm. you couldn't, oh. couldn't do that. Yeah, that would be, man, some alternate universe got messed up. That would actually make an interesting movie. They have, like, Bruce Wayne as Spider-Man, Peter Parker as Batman. Now, if... Bruce is Wonder if, Woman. If you went away, <laughs> if you died, but then Leighton took your son in, and then Leighton died... Because I'm an uncle. Uncle Ben. Yeah, that no. would work. All right, I'll die for the plot. Yeah. I'll die and for the gotta plot. you got to give like an all-time quote to. You do. Okay. Right before It can be simple, dies. but yeah, you Please do. Please make it original. Something like Superman once said this, great power mm -hmm. comes great responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Something like that. Yeah. You don't want to copy. Yeah, him. when you boil pasta, but, know if you want it to be al dente or not. And then you die. <laughs> and then you die. You know, that would somehow be less confusing than the DC universe. What? Yeah. Oh, this whole plot yeah. right here is less confusing than the DC movies that have been yeah. released recently. Oh, yeah. We're just pressing the reset button. Like, go forward, go forward, then you go too far. Wait, no, go back. I think I understood my uh, sophomore accounting class than I do the DC universe, and I made a D in that class. That was the worst grade I've ever made in college. Nice. I understand that did, more somehow. Did you not calculate the accounts receivable? Well, see, I had a teacher <laughs> that spoke four or five words of English. Okay. And so that made it really, <laughs> really easy to fail. Gotcha. That's we fair. even signed a petition to like... You signed a petition? We, our whole class signed a petition to for the dean to bump our grades up, and they, did, they declined it. It was that bad. Wow. So did anybody make a decent grade in that class? Not then? a lot. Maybe a couple. A lot of people failed. Dang. I was just happy I had a D. Is that what you passed? passed? Yeah. yeah. You would think that would be a sign. As a teacher, I'd be like, yeah, okay, if my entire class is failing, mm -hmm. something's Maybe wrong. I should do something. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, I just have a bunch of idiots. Maybe she yeah. could take an English class and learn some words. Maybe. You let your insecurities win, and, and you want to feel superior to the 30 people staring at you for yes. an, an hour a couple times a week. Yeah. All I'm saying is, you know, welcome I, come to America. That's fine. Come, come on. <laughs> but Why are we going well, there? Well, if this you is a are going direction. to be here, Let's and you're going to you're gonna be in the Let's education play. system for people that are there That's for their future, they probably need to understand you to understand the subject that is for fair. their future. So why would you hire someone 
in the interview I can't speak that English. maybe said hello. And then the rest of the time, you're like, what are they <laughs> yeah. saying? Yeah, what are your qualifications? Yes. She writes down on a piece of paper, I know accounting and Indian. <laughs> then you have to Google tra- then you have to Google translate that. And then you're like, all right, you're hired. What's your favorite race? Oh my god. A, that is a trap. The amazing race was a great one. The no amazing matter what race. I say. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh. Yeah, man, it's it's the Indy 500, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is your favorite race. Oh, uh, Formula 1? Yeah. Uh, Daniel Ricardo. 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. What's my favorite race? Is that a car or a person? Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. What? But Abu Dhabi? I have no okay. idea. Okay, is this your accounting Saying teacher? Saying the same word does not give it any more context. I think that's your accounting Abu teacher. Abu Dhabi. Is that, is that a Dhabi. person? That's a country, bro. I remember. I did not know. A and, country? And, that is not a country. In elementary Dhabi? school. He knows countries. It might be a location. In elementary school, we used to yeah. do these fun runs, and that's where you go outside and you just run, try to have fun. But I think it was maybe for, maybe to, you know, like pay the lunch lady. I don't know what it was for, but it was something to raise money. I remember one time I was trying to win this race, and I pushed this kid down. What? And then another kid tripped, or he tripped another kid, and he fell, and I won the race. I got some backlash for it for some reason, but I won. I was like eight. Oh, How, good story. Nice. You didn't disqualify? No, they didn't. You know, yeah, we're yeah. going to disqualify this. What eight are they going to do? Tell an eight-year-old you don't win anymore? Well, I forgot what school yeah. you went to, so. Yeah. Some did hillbilly backwoods. I did. It's like, yeah, that, that was... But an I ed- won the fun run. That was an education. So, because of you, the lunch ladies got paid. Yeah. Did you even have a lunch lady? That may or may not be a true story. I don't know. I don't think it is. You never know. I'm going to start telling stories, but then just at the end, I'll be like, that may or may not be mm-hmm. true. So some of them, say some of them will. <laughs> some of them. It's just your but, job to pick out which ones are true or not. You yeah. ever embarrass yourself by literally falling over? Actually, yes. Can I hear about it? Again, this is... It may or may not be a true story. This is probably a true story. It it actually is. I was maybe in third, second or third grade. Do y'all, have y'all heard of D.A.R.E. before? The little program they do in public school? No. Actually, yes. I have heard of that. I can't remember exactly what it is. I didn't even go to school. Let me look that up. Because... Presley's like, I grew up in the asylum. Yep. What? Is that like truth or dare? Is D.A.R.E. Yeah, here it is. Drug abuse resistance education. Oh, that's what it is. Like Why really were we learning helpful, that in third grade? Really helpful program. I don't know. How many? No one where you went to school. Well, it didn't help. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we had a dare graduate, like a graduation thing for dare. Right. I don't know why. And my friends, uh, they were like, "I bet you won't fall over during the graduation for." They were giving me something, some kind of, some kind of snack, and so That's worth it. I walked across. <laughs> yeah, I walked across the stage, and I got to this wire that was along the stage, and I just acted like I stepped on that and I fell down, and I remember looking up, and my mom like had her her hand on her eyes, like just <laughs> looking down like this, in embarrassment. I got in trouble. Oh. Hey, but that fruit roll. Because she worth just it. knew I did it on purpose. And that's how you became I guess it an didn't, orphan. I guess it didn't look very believable. Yeah, Dude, that's like, how I became an orphan. From the office. Oh, no, I'm following. Yeah. I need something to grab on. <laughs> yeah. oh, but that may or may not be a true story. I think but it, it could probably be. is. It could it probably be. is. Yeah. You're like, and that was uh, Presley. Uh, I watched it happen. Yeah, it wasn't yep. me. Presley and Lightning, y'all started a podcast. That is very yeah, true. You want to talk about it? No. Nah. You got it, Presley. All right. Um, so we started a podcast. Um, it's called Awkward Tech. It's a branch. Not to be confused with Awkward Tapes, although it is a branch off of this podcast. It's just me and my my uh, brother, brother brother in tech brother. here. Um, you got it, Layton. Yeah, we talk about all things technology. If you like that, and you it's still, check it out. It's still awkward. It's still awkward. Uh, we recorded our second episode just the other day, um, so... Yeah, we're making more, and... They'll be released every Thursday. Every Thursday. We're usually going to pick a topic or two. It's pretty short, like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. 
Well, we've been doing it on like Zoom, which has a recording limit, so we're kind of limited. But I think it's we need nice to, to have shorter episodes episodes anyway. Me. We need to look into that because I may have a different way for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I've looked into some things like Riverside and other stuff, but they're all they all cost money. Mm-hmm. Um, but which we yeah, don't the have. Quality is not that great as far as video, but I think the audio quality is all right. Yeah. Why'd you want to start it? I don't know. Great and terrible no. answer. We've been wanting <laughs> Listen, to do it for a while. We, yeah, been wanting to do it for a while. Um, we talked about a couple different branches off yeah. of this podcast where we could go more topic specific. Mm-hmm. And because I have a career in technology and you have a career in technology, that's something we can easily okay. talk about. So, Who knows? Yeah. Maybe someday we'll have a lot of branches. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. As long as we don't screw this up. Yeah. It all rides that, on the... It's, it's all on y'all. I wonder yeah. what... um branch you'd talk about probably mechanics politics Politics. very political (laughs) that would be fun I would say I would love to listen to you have a political podcast I would legit listen specifically (laughs) one of the two sides yeah I'd be like a what's his name what's his name Alex oh Alex Jones oh but not necessarily his side I would would have to pick one first Alex Jones were on the left yeah. yeah I would love that It'd be amazing. Huh. You like that? You think I should do it? Yep. I think you could do it as like a parody thing. No, this has to be legit. Okay. How do you do this voice? It is like (laughs) smoke 40 cigarettes and then maybe. It really is. Then, you know, just talk about how they're turning the frogs are gay. (laughs) The frogs are gay! They're turning the frogs gay! Oh, that guy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, no. They oh, dropped shit. a gay bomb, and then he googled <laughs> it. And he's like, "See, you see, it's a gay bomb." <laughs> We're just like, "What?" It's it's pretty. I mean, you know, I, then that's when I learned about the gay bomb. You know, <laughs> imagine that's, that's why everyone in Hawaii, no. mm-hmm. homosexual frogs. <laughs> you like seriously imagine this? <laughs> no, um, that'd be a good little you know tagline for this episode. Ooh. Homosexual frogs. Or just, just they have turn a the picture of you up there. Yep. <gasps> like half frog, you like morph it into press turn like turning green. into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> what's that That's sad? What's that sad frog meme? Oh, oh what is it? Uh, is about? it Pepe or yeah? Or is, is it Pepe? I don't know what it is. I think it's Pepe. What was that? Homosexual frogs. <laughs> heterosexual people. What? Pig? No. What are you thinking know. of? Pick an animal. I don't know. I said pig. Sheep. Sheep. Heterosexual sheep. Ooh. What? D- ooh. Okay. What do you mean? Like that has a nice ring to it. Well, there's a little bit of an alliteration between sexual and sheep. Sexual. <laughs> heterosexual oh. sheep. Sexual. Sheep. A little bit of a tongue twister there. <laughs> At first, I was like, it's "Sexual sheep." That's. <laughs> Let's move on. Anyway, <laughs> I was so, gonna say, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> do, 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 no, so, you guys, I don't know what's happening. Here. You guys think you'll have guests on your your pod at some point? That'd be nice. There's text all over the place. You can have a bunch of different people. I mean, Shmev yeah. is a tech expert. So. Yeah, man. Yep. I would yeah. love to talk about tech and sports. Mm, yeah. I could do that. Oh, that yeah, true. Good. Yeah, you good. could talk about uh, probably MLB and the umpiring. Yeah. That's probably what... Me and Lee talked about that. We did. Day. Oh, I know. That's why I brought that up. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be a good combo. Yep. That's a big topic of discussion right now in te- the tech and sports world. So, yeah. people think it might happen, <laughs> which I don't really want it to but i mean it will happen it's just a matter of time i hope not it will eventually happen because as because plus the mlb already implemented a bunch of new rules so once people start getting used to that mm-hmm. you add something a little bit at a time for people yep. to get accustomed to it instead of just adding everything at once so if they added the robot umps uh this year as well people would have gone too crazy but it's mm-hmm. they're making everybody more used to it it's not gonna be the same you still had a landline until like last year so I don't know. Me you or have my a family? <laughs> Do you live there? I mean, sure. Yeah, but it's you not live my in the house. house. It's, did you answer the phone? <laughs> did you answer He's holding you. I lived in the dorm one time. Were those my elevators? Yes. What do you know? You owned. You owned. Yeah, I owned the entire thing. There you go. You paid enough money to where you could. It was an old house. Of course, there's gonna be landlines there. But you still used them. No, we didn't. Not for about. Not for years. Yeah. Like how Preston said, if you live with your parents and your parents own a landline, you're behind the times. It's your fault. It's your fault. Yeah, it's your fault. You are. When's the last All time right. you used a landline? 
2010. Wait, what do we use at work? <gasps> that's oh, different. No, oh, no. It is You different. use a landline, oh, Presley. That's, that's the not, tech experts behind us. It's your that fault. Is, Get rid different. of it. No, that's it's different. not. Yes, it you is. have a landline in I'm there. I'm not using my personal phone. What else am I supposed to use? It's your fault. No. That is different. That's Press the, no, kinda, like, it's in it's in the you office. You kind of dug this hole yourself. It's it's his fault. Every company has those though. Because it doesn't it, matter. You gotta provide. You can't just Layton. expect everyone to. Layton. To, you know. Layton. You, you know could have a company cell no, phone. He's using could, the landline. You could have a company cell phone. A government issued cell phone. But he doesn't have to pay for it. He does oh. have a work phone. Hear me out. The twenty bucks a month you spend on your little <laughs> landline. If you put it in a Roth IRA in a good. Uh, S and P five hundred index fund, and then you keep putting investing that money over the course of your life. He's not you'll wrong. have like five hundred thousand dollars. He's not wrong. We'll do a money podcast next. Yeah, we'll oh, we'll God. have one on on financial. I wouldn't listen to that. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I would be. Dude, I would love all the things to where <laughs> to where all the things that we get wrong, then all the disclosures we have to make. Like we need someone uh, other way. than Dave Ramsey to do that. Uh, did oh did you I forgot what it was Dave oh. Ramsey actually got like in trouble or whatever uh, not too long ago. I can't, I can't. <laughs> again I'm not a big fan of him I'm not gonna lie well I mean, he's I, just I don't he's know. just angry I was gonna say Presley when you went to college didn't he like show up one time and you actually like heard him speak or wasn't there something yeah. like that I thought you had like a picture with Dave Ramsey or something yeah. like that no I went to his old studio in you Franklin. went to his old studio that's what it was oh yeah I went okay. with a buddy and uh, it was cool because that's I, that's when I was really um, into watching his videos was was. When it was, was, was that when I was in college? That? Yeah. Wow. Oh, he is here. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say wow. Gotta wow. 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 <laughs> wow. wow. Process three, two. Okay, I'm back mentally. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no. So that was cool. Got to meet him. He's a nice guy. But um, no. I, I think we should get. Hold on. I can do this. I think we should get Zach's sister-in-law's husband. Which is your brother-in-law? Yeah, <laughs> to do a finance podcast. Not just, he will not do finance. No, he is a financial advisor, but he will not talk finance. A somewhere. financial advising podcast. <laughs> Get one just for that. Yeah. Undisclosed. He Undisclosed. will advise them financially. Guys, so guys, what you do is you want to dig a hole in your backyard. Then all your valuables, whether it's money, Better metals, you know, your bed, you know, just dump it all in that hole. Then, Go all then into you bury crypto. It. All go all in the, go all in the crypto. Yep. <laughs> exactly. If you're not in just crypto and just only precious metals, what are you even doing? You yeah. have to have all your money in those two things. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. What happened to the uh, – what's the little things like last year – that people were, were were buying and selling the little like pictures. Oh, NFTs. NFTs. What mm. happened? To th- I feel like those fell off a cliff. The, here, Layton, you know more about it than me, so you talk about it. I don't know too much. Gary Vee talks about it a lot, though. Because he even NFTs? him, he was talking about you need to get into NFTs. You he still to. says that you have to. Yeah, but NFTs they, are d- like don't invest in that. I don't oh, think damn. it's here's this. This is what I've heard his point on it. It's like everything is digital. Everything's going digital. The things that you have that are yours that you purchase, like let's say you have a poster of Michael Jordan, like I do in my room, mm-hmm. that's cool, but that's that's it's basically like a trophy. That's what an NFT would be. It's something that you can collect. But he says it's going to go into every aspect. Same way the internet was thought in very one dimensional. It was only thought of being used for one thing, and then other doors opened up. He thinks that's going to happen with NFTs, but just the basic concept of it is you're buying something that is digital, that is a one of a kind thing that can't be replicated. Yeah. Even if Except, you copy and paste. Yeah, the but image, I was going to say, but the hard part the is, is that even though it's not exactly the same, like the file data, or I don't know exactly what, yeah, what it'd whatever. be, whatever it is, that may not be exactly the same. But the image itself is exactly the same right you can get it to be it's not just like counterfeit money to where if you try to counterfeit money mm. it's like it may look similar which maybe they're trying to say the yeah. same point but it actually does have differences in it to where you can actually tell to where just yeah. i don't know with with nfts i just don't understand I'm like if you're using that sort of logic that. you might as well just go into crypto if you're like if you're going with oh everything's going online you just need to invest digitally like you just need to go that I'm like just go crypto if you're going that far into it why are you doing these yeah. why are you investing into eminem as a monkey and having yeah. that be like your main financial support because wasn't that the first nft it was like eminem as a monkey oh. with like a hoodie on I think that was the first NFT. He's been right about a lot. So in 20 or 40 years, let's see what happens. Maybe. I, I... 
I don't know, Gary Vee, I'm no hate towards him. I, he has some good ideas. I'm not big on the Gary Vee train, if I'm being honest. Yeah. That's some Fair, good stuff. But, but it's just, it's just, this is fact. He, a lot of the stuff he's predicted has has been a hundred percent true. Yeah, but if, you it's can say that impressive. about a lot of people, like Alex you, Jones. Well, you can say that about Alex Jones, <laughs> not the frogs being gay. You, but can. you can say that about some other stuff. You can, but in just this scenario, like we're just saying, he's talking yeah. about a lot about NFTs. Yeah. He talked a lot about TikTok when it first came out. He talked mm-hmm. a lot about just random things that happened to. So we're just, we're just he's saying been wrong he's a, a big times, but. Oh yeah, yeah no, I'm, yeah. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm not saying like that he Uber. doesn't give out some good advice or that he's not right about certain things. He definitely is. Just, I'm not, I'm just not on the bandwagon. If I'm being honest, I'm not there. Yeah, he was apparently he got a, he was offered to uh, invest in Uber mm-hmm. or early something, or very early. Oh, and he he's passed. Like, yeah, he's like, nah, he passed, and he, he said that's his biggest regret ever. Yeah. He would have made a ton. Oh my gosh! Can't yeah. be right about everything, you know. No. Unfortunately, oh, no. I think uh, the NFT conversation kind of just got overshadowed by the current AI conversation. It'll Maybe. probably make its way back oh, around. Yeah. I think yeah, it will. true. Yeah. So well, it's just like an online version or electronic version of a collector's item. Yes. Kind of. It almost reminds me of if someone made like a painting. Uh, like, yeah. oh, this is an original painting. This is Monet's mm-hmm. painting or whatever. And then like, it's just the digital version of that. To me, That's how I view it. Other people yeah. would probably say, oh, no, but it's actually different because of X, Y, and B or whatever. I could see yes, it being XYB. really... Nice. That's how letters work. Um, <laughs> I could see it being really important maybe 10 years from now plus. Um, but right now, the only reason NFTs are important is because it's a bunch of people saying it's important <laughs> and trying to get on early. That's why every company didn't Twitter say they were going to do an NFT thing. I don't Probably. Recently. Well, I, I know that there's it. you know since we're already on the political bandwagon, I was just going to say have and I have no comment about this other than that they exist. Have you guys seen the Donald Trump NFTs? Yes, no. yeah. they I've are. Seen that. I have you not. should. They're hilarious. I was going to say, Layton, is it too much work to ask for you to put in just like a couple pictures? I need to some do of this. they are again. Maybe you love them, maybe you hate them. Whatever else, I don't care. The NFTs are hilarious. It they is are. Funny. They are hilarious. It's just an orange. What I'm curious about (laughs) is the use cases that go beyond just like these collectibles. Like what? I I haven't looked into it enough, and I don't think it's going to be relevant for a long time. And by the time it is relevant, then we'll know all about it. But right now, I don't really care fully because it's just not very important. Yeah, no, I don't. It's not. Yeah, I don't think. I don't get it. I just don't. Yeah. Um. Ah, no, he you noticed. noticed. Dang it! Hey. Uh, the tape's awkward. Is the sign that reads behind us. I was hoping that you wouldn't um, know. I set it up that way on purpose. You want to explain that? Because last, oh, cause, it's because uh, he put tapes above. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, so last time when we record, because it's been like this the past three or four episodes. The last time that we recorded this, the very first episode, I put it up like that by accident, oh. and then after the episode, we're like, wait. That's wrong. None of us noticed until the very end of the episode. <laughs> That's funny. And then we're like, we should change that. And then we're like, wait, we're going to keep it like that until Schmev notices. That's funny. Well, it didn't take too long. <laughs> no, it didn't take too long. No, we only got three or four I don't know why, in. but I was just like, I want to look at the sign. And I'm like, I don't... Uh, did, did we change our name? <laughs> did we change our yeah. name? The tapes, comma awkward. Yeah. Uh, I'll change it back afterwards. I don't uh, care. No, I can, no, because now the looks so symmetrical. It looks, awkward awkward it it looks it does. It looks perfect. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's because it's the pyramid form. Yeah, it's like a synonym for. <laughs> it's like a synonym. <laughs> um, but another thing that's kind of been popping off <laughs> again that. the past couple of years is baseball cards again are really yeah. oh, starting yeah. to come back. Um. But like my dad has a huge collection of it, and he's like he's just been storing them, and like he's completed oh, yeah. a bunch of sets and stuff. And now he's starting okay, to sell cool. them and oh, yeah. making some money off of them. Yeah. yeah, maybe in uh, maybe in the very far future, I may sell some stuff because I have some cool baseball cards. I, I have too. I have an original Willie Mays. I have part of like Jackie Robinson's like jersey or whatever. I, like this I have uh, just because I'm a big Giants fan, I have a Buster Posey rookie card. I like that one. Uh, and I just have a variety of other ones. Like I think I have like 
Chipper Jones, either like autographed um, or like his bat or whatever else. I have I have a few cool ones. So would it be wrong to say that those are non digital NFTs? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's, that's pretty. Right. I just want to make sure I understand. Right, but that except concept. I'm not investing in that. To me, that was just something fun to yeah. do and collect. I, I, I wasn't like you know what would be smart for my financials in the future. I'm gonna invest in this. <laughs> I might start doing that some because. No. It's just fun. Oh, it is fun. Yeah. Well, plus, if you're putting some money into it, that's one thing. It's the people that I don't understand are the people who's like, I'm going to put at least half of all my money into this. Mm-hmm. It's like, no. don't. It's like, Too well, much. I mean, maybe it will work out, maybe, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> um, the most expensive baseball card ever sold was a 1952 Mickey Mantle that sold for $12.6 million. Yeah. There's money in it. Oh, no, there wow. really is. But what is crazy about it is that you have to have your card in pristine condition yes, if you're going to have that. Because if you have just a tiny little crease or a tiny little crack or whatever in it's the corner, gone. like it, your card's faded a little bit, even if it's very minuscule, if there's anything like that, all of a sudden a $12 million card, you can still sell it for a lot, but all of a sudden $12 million turns into like 15000 And you're like, wait, it mm-hmm. deteriorates yeah. that much? Well, Zach saw that recently with a comic book he had. That is true, yeah. I've, yeah. I've forgot did he tell that on the podcast i forget i don't think so i don't know no um he had a comic book that was worth however much but then it was the same thing it was in horrible condition so then he only got like 200 bucks out of it even though it was worth a whole lot more yeah it was something like that i I don't know okay also comic books i do think are cool but i never like knew anyone or met anyone that actually collected them or was really into reading comic books and had all the sets. Uh, I knew like, I mean, I've read person. comic books before, but yeah. I've never met anyone that was really into it. Well, when I was growing up, I just watched a lot of the TV shows that were based off the comics. Mm-hmm. So I kind of know the stories and the artwork is very similar, but I, n- I never really got into comic books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just seems like something so expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, granted, you could say the same about baseball cards or whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh, I have a, this is I don't know how exactly how much it is, but I've had this card for a long time. Evan, you'll you're the only one that'll remember the uh, the name. But I have a Dirt and a Whitsky card with part of his that jersey name. in the card. That's mm-hmm. cool. And I think that'll that's probably the most valuable one I have. I I don't remember which one it is in here, but um a lot of these are, you know, at least oh, yeah, 10, 20 I'll bucks. Say, yeah, do you remember uh, Chris Bosch? Yeah. I ha- This is actually a really cool card. I have a Chris Bosch card that is, it's three things in one. It is a rookie card. It has part of his jersey in it and is autographed by him. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I also have a Jerry Rice uh, card that he signed, and he didn't just sign his name. He signed a Jerry Rice uh, TD King, Touchdown King. Oh. So that's a cool one. I I used to be really into it. I still remember, and I don't know why I didn't uh, get it or ask my mom to get it and try to work to pay her back or whatever, but I remember I went into, uh, because there was a baseball card shop that I went into it, well, just card shop, Mm -hmm. and they had a signed Tony Parker card uh, that was his actual autograph and everything. It was only 20 bucks for the Tony Parker card, and for some reason I didn't get it or I didn't ask my mom or whatever about it and then I was like you know what that Tony Parker card was really cool next time we go back there I think I want to get it then went back and it wasn't there yeah but I was like man before he retired oh yeah that was before he retired but I'm just like oh it's gonna go way up in value well it's even something like that Chipper Jones card that I mentioned I forget if it has part of his bat or whatever it's one of those to where even though you knew uh like Chipper Jones is he in the Hall of Fame yet or I think so yeah okay because I got the card before he was in the Hall of Fame even though it was one of those things to where you knew that he was gonna be a Hall of Famer the card's value doesn't actually jump until they're officially in like the Hall of Fame yeah so the card wasn't that much and then all of a sudden it will skyrocket after a certain period of time yeah it'll be something fun to get into even if i don't do baseball cards that's something i'm not really passionate collecting. about but just oh, like yeah. collecting and reselling and stuff like that all right it's fun but man these cards just ha- even if it's non-sports even like pokemon cards or whatever if yeah. you find the right one i never even got into that i never got I into anything with cards no what's yeah, funny is same. even though i loved pokemon growing up i never under and i still don't understand how pokemon cards work because yeah. it works completely different from anything I don't know else how you even play and it just seems like the more money either. you spend the better your cards are gonna be oh yeah exactly yeah so, i don't I don't understand how it works because it's a completely different yeah. game. It seems like, it. And like how does that, how does that what? It's yeah. something I wish I was into, but mm-hmm. I don't want to put the time and money into yeah. it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, the video game is extremely simple. 
Yeah. Um, maybe the card game is too on it. Pokemon <laughs> yeah, Go. Y'all remember that? Yeah. I hate that I, that died. I played that. that yeah, was Pokemon a fun year. Go. That was, dude, that took over the world. That was before I had like self service on my phone, so I couldn't play. <laughs> I had to be oh, near buildings yeah. and. Have I know, to get on Wi Fi. No, that was actually super smart because it got it got every I mean, it was only for like six months, but it got everyone yeah. to go to like the park and mm -hmm. got everyone to actually go out and get yeah, active. Bring that Great. back. What I mean, that? it's still like, out. It's still it's they it's still out. They still update it. I'm not joking. Version. There's still Pokemon Go tournaments. That's still a thing in this year. Actually, was that like twenty sixteen? It was like twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen, yeah. And yes, I know it lasted longer than six months. That was the main they need Whatever. a different the franchise yeah. to do the same thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Pokemon, mm -hmm. it's not as... I mean, it's still huge in the States. Pokemon is not as big in the States as something like Mario or Call of Duty, but, I mean, it's mm -hmm. the biggest uh, gaming franchise worldwide easily because it's huge yeah, in Asia. Worldwide. There was this one game one time. That I can't remember the name of it. I think it was an Android exclusive, for, which is strange to say out loud it, is. Um, yeah. it was a similar concept to where there were two teams and when you downloaded the app you i think it was a red team and a green team you know what i'm talking about that was yeah we that were, was cool we were really into that um back when we Andrew? had Explain. yeah wow. we did um so it was kind of of a, a similar concept where you would go around and there would be different territories marked by one team or the other and you would build up uh certain attacks and certain something where if you kept visiting the same location and you kept trying to claim it mm -hmm. then you and your team and it was kind of a more of that community yeah thing. but the whole world is either on team blue or team red and the, yeah. each team kind of stood for something so you're trying to like claim as many that, territories as possible no oh, okay so i looked ah, up jinx. i looked up android exclusive games and that came up and the colors were blue and green i don't so know like, about it but that, that was, was a, a cool fun game. game. Just something like that. Something where it's location specific. Mm. There's different games where you can own properties. You can buy properties within the game. But they're real properties in real life. Like and the to post me, office. Or, yeah. Or oh, like church the building. concept of that is just so cool to me. <laughs> Everything yeah. was there. You're taking something that's digital, but you're also applying it to the real world. Mm -hmm. And then you can see it. And go, you know, see your claimed <clears throat> property or territory or whatever. All that yeah. stuff's that really actually, cool to me. No, that, yeah. that is really cool. It's... Yeah, I, I like that sort of stuff. There's it was a games. community of people you didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, it reminds me of the... What's funny is it just came out. It, it reminds me of the geocaching uh, to where you try mm. to find, like, mm. the different... What, what are they exactly? Like, safes or, like, pouches or whatever? Like, you find a physical something in the real world that someone oh. leaves behind, but you yeah. use this to try to find the location. So you, yeah. like, go walking down this street, then that street. Then you look behind the mailbox, and behind the mailbox is, like, this little thing. That would be cool. We did that as homeschool groups, didn't we? <laughs> that one time. Yep. <laughs> such a homeschooler thing to do. It's such a homeschooler thing. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mackenzie. All right, it's time for Battle Explained Movies and Shows brought to you by the Relay app. Uh, make sure to try it out if you haven't yet. Use our code, the Awkward Tapes, and save movie night with Relay. All right, you're gonna find lots of cool stuff on there. Sham yeah, man, huh? Sham yeah, man. Alrighty. So uh, this is a movie. I'm gonna be doing badly explained. Everyone knows how it works. Okay. All right. So a depressed clown has to escape near death multiple times and is desperately searching for his only source of happiness. Does this guy like to make funny jokes? Is this too easy? Uh, not really. I was going to say for Is you it, it might be. It's, I was going to say it's It's pretty straightforward. I've tried to make them easier over time. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Joker? Yeah, it's Joker. No, it's not Joker. Oh, oh okay. Never mind. Um, oh, it's not. No, yeah, it's not that's Joker. That's what I was That sounded like almost the plot of the Joker movie. Yeah, it, uh, it, it kind it of is. is. Yeah. A McDonald's ad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. Is it a clown? No, yeah, so a depressed clown has to escape near death multiple times and is desperately searching for his only source of happiness. Is it a clown? An actual clown? Yes and no. It's not... For purposes of this, no. But it, it is. is. But it's it, not. Is the what movie the? it? <laughs> no, it's not it. It's not here. For the purposes of this, no. It's not an actual clown. Uh, Monsters, Inc. No. <laughs> okay. Oh. Scooby-Doo. Yeah. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, yeah. <laughs> it's Scooby. Scooby Snacks. Yes, but depressed no. clown. Yeah, but no, ask some questions. Try to figure a sad out. clown. He's not happy, but he's searching for it. Is this <laughs> animated? Yes. Okay. Depression. <laughs> Depression. He's not a clown, but he is. But he's not, but he is. Makeup. You'll understand. Clown. 
Do, do you guys need a hink? Depression. Yes, please. This is a children's movie. What? <laughs> Made by Disney? Uh, yeah. Are you well, I mean, it I mean, yeah. I mean, because of who uh, owns Di- Disney owns everyone. Own so yeah, it's, it's, own, it's made by Disney or owned by Disney. A depressed clown. I, I don't. Baymax. But really... so, what could a clown? Wait, be? like you know, hold, it could on, be... hold on, hold on. I got it. I've got it. I've got you it. Don't. I've got it. What, what were you going to say? It. No, oh, no, it. Shmev has it. Oh, 100 percent. What? I'm not Zach in this either. Like I've got it. <laughs> I'm not Zach in this. Mm-hmm. No, you don't. I do. I don't have a clue. It's not a clown. Yeah, exactly. But it's a clown. See? See? A goofy clown. You fella? understand? It is a clown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clown. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Oh, that was oh. a loud squeak. Oh. Finding Nemo. Yes. All right. I will uh, go to mine next. This is a TV show. Mm-hmm. So. Television. They have to do exactly what they are told. And if they don't, the people closest to them humiliate them, embarrass them, and even put their lives in danger. You say it's a TV show? Yeah. It's a TV show. I got it. Oh. Wow, well, you already got it. Got it. I don't know. Is it, what type of t- Is this like a comedy? Is it a, a drama? Okay. I feel like if I said that... It gives it away. Right, okay. You think so? Yeah. Okay, never mind then. It's really like... If I give one or two hints, you got it. It's definitely a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> it's a I, TV show. It's a TV show, like, on TV. Try to keep up. That doesn't help. There's a lot of TV shows. Yeah, so so give the description again. Okay. Because it's something about you have to do what they tell us or else you'll be embarrassed. They have to do exactly what they are told. Mm. And if they don't, the people closest to them humiliate them Embarrass them and even put their lives in danger. Oh, oh never I got it now. Here's a, okay. here's a joke. Okay. So that's why you couldn't give hints. I see. Mm. Oh. 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 Yeah. So, this, so what you're saying. Does this yeah. have to do with an animal that's in the ocean? Yeah. What? No. no. Not what I'm thinking of. No. 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 Game. What? Squid games? No. no, it's not that. Not squid games. No, I have it now. I understand what it is now. Yeah, it's I could. I see what you mean because I could give a hint, but that will give it away. I got it. What is it? Hunger Games. Nope. That That's is a movie. Not, <laughs> like a we movie said not, eight or nine you times. You said TV this is, show because it's a TV show on the. the no, it's no, a that TV show. Because it's a TV show. Yeah, not because it's a. <laughs> that was a play on words. No. Screw me. All right, we gotta get yes, late please. to get anyway, this. Anyway, what? I don't think I'm gonna get it. There you are. Here. I will emphasize things in here, okay? How many How many were on the show? So, they have to do exactly what they're told, right? And if they don't, the people closest to them. Who are some people close to you? Like, what type of people? Like, family? Family. Friends? Okay, friends. I mean... Closest friends. You will humiliate, humiliate, humiliate them. Humiliate. Embarrass them. Friends. In front of... <laughs> Millions of people. There used to be four, now there's three. Yeah, they lost one. Oh, I Mary! got it. In pra- I got it before you said that. Impractical Jokers. Yeah, yes. there you go. There you go. Yeah. I don't know how else to hold your hand and walk you right up to <laughs> it. So that was a good one. Thank I, you. I, well, see, I see now why any hints would have just immediately given yeah. it away. Even if I would have said comedy, I think you would have, probably, it would be yeah. easier to narrow probably. it down. Probably. We'll love that show. All right. I have one of your favorites, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm struggling. So, this is a movie. Oh, but I see. It's a, it's a word play because yeah, it's a TV show about yeah. a movie. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. Is it the Truman? Yeah. Yeah. No. That's yeah. actually a. Yep, that was that, it. That'd be good. What's that in? No. Right. <laughs> Imagine. That would that'd be, be good, though. Okay. A Brit with multiple personalities doesn't get the message he wants to hear from the doctor, so he goes home to his octopus. Man, that wasn't. Three words for once. I know that was an actual description. This, like, is, this is an original. My so it's a movie. Wait, so know. he goes back to his octopus. Wait, say it one more time. Octopus. If what I'm if if it's what I'm thinking of, it's not an actual octopus. <laughs> a Brit with multiple personalities doesn't get the message he wants to hear from the doctor, so he goes home to his octopus. I think I have it. The doctor. Because it's octopus. not an actual octopus. Yeah. Okay. That's what they call wordplay. But they have eight <laughs> legs. Um, yeah, no arms, eight legs. <laughs> yeah. No. Octopus. I don't know. 
Presley, I like I like this one. Is it octopus? Fact, it's, it's a really good wordplay. I like it. Yeah, I Does do. the octopus have to do with the amount of legs this guy has, or is it an the act- amount of limbs this guy has? Limbs. Yeah. You know, I hear that the octopus went to medical school. Yep. The octopus wears glasses. <laughs> Spider Man. Got it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's Spider Man. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Spider Man Two obvious. with Doc. Yeah, because it's Doc. No. Doc. Okay. No. Wrong one. Oh, Spider Man. What is it? No Something way about home. Because some reason, why is there home in all of those? I don't movies? know. Home slice. A king with a big head gets a big neck after a spunky grandma comes after him. Okay, so should we be focused more on the big neck or the spunky grandma? Both. <clears throat> he grows. Okay. His neck grows. Yes. So this is animated, right? Yep. Okay. He's got a I, big was, head. I was going to hope so. Big head meaning a little something a little different. Uh, what kind ego? Of head big are you ego? About? He's Come got on. a big ego. There you go. Get your head out of the gutter. Big this, ego. So he's got a big ego, but his grandma is spunky. <laughs> it's not his grandma, but she's an old lady. Oh, hold on. Big ego. Old lady. <laughs> spunky. Spunky. What? I don't, I don't know what I this don't is. Know. I need I need a hink. Y'all need to be watching the camera version, just so you know. That's very oh, I'm true. I'm just enjoying a cookie. <laughs> Non-sponsored. Yeah, not sp- a non-sponsored cookie. But I love crumble. Reach Sponsored by us. Relay, not by the cookie. Yes. Dude, I don't know. I don't Big know. head, Big- his neck gross. Dude, I'm actually kind of surprised I don't have this. This his is an neck underrated... Gross? After she gets a hold of I this guy. It. After she he, she stretches a, his neck. I got it. It I'm literally s- does. Do I know what this is? You've seen it. I'm Have pretty I sure seen you've it? seen it. It's an underrated Disney movie. Yep. Think of underrated Disney. Oh. Animated. Yeah, movie. I think Wait, I know I, it now. I don't remember his neck growing. Wait, I don't now. remember this. I got though. like a plastic knife. Oh, no. we got, we're doing a podcast? Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, Zach. I can't. We're not doing this for fun. Um, so I'm, so from, so I'm having fun. What are you talking about? <laughs> Emperor's New Groove. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that. Okay. When does his neck grow? When he turns into a llama. Because he's a llama. Oh. Okay. Big head gets a big neck. I was picturing that, some okay. old lady literally stretching his neck. I. That's what I was picturing too. <laughs> so I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> I was like, what about this? Is like the physical neck. St- yeah. There's. Nothing like spreading <laughs> butter on a cookie with your finger. Yeah. Yeah, Layton's like, literally yours? spreading but Okay. So are we just doing... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why was that so audible? <laughs> yeah, that We're was... just doing one more round, right? Yeah. Sure. And then okay. you you have two more. So Please. I do yours. have two more. I don't know if we want to go through two more. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to go. We'll decide later. Okay, TV show. Mr. Tall, Green, and Handsome is the silliest of all the characters. His highlights include singing about cheeseburgers and pizza and brushing his bald head. Oh, got it. Got it. I think. No, yeah. it should be pretty. Um, Zach, tall green guy. Zach the documentary. <laughs> Zach the documentary. He's no. green. Yeah. No, Mr. Tall, Green, and Handsome is the silliest of all the characters. His highlights include singing about cheeseburgers and pizza and brushing his bald head. Yeah, I think I got it. I was gonna say I he's no idea. he's known for being really like like he's really healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's very healthy. Yeah. Is this the Incredible Hulk? No. I, I can't take you seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I gotta I ask. Just so Layton has cookie has so much butter on it. Let's just go off in a little 20 second tangent. I want you to describe how that cookie is, what you're feeling right now. I'm feeling great. It's the waffle flavor. With cookie. butter and syrup. Is that butter Where's like butter? a frosting almost? Yeah, it's it looks frosting. thick. It's is delicious. One out of ten. How 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 good? Seven and a half. Okay. Okay. It's so not, not the best, it. but like, not seven and a half out of all the cookies I've had. Seven out of ten for crumble. Okay. Which mm. is pretty good. Pretty good. A pretty good cookie. Okay. So, so it's a, a good, really cookie. good cookie. Seven and a half. Out. Okay. Anyways, tall, right. green, and um, handsome. Mm. <clears throat> Singing about stuff. Yeah. 
I've oh. got it. I, you do you do yeah. have it? I was gonna say, I mean, I'm pretty sure you've had it. Yeah. We have all this was a show, right? Oh yeah. This is a show that every single one of us grew up watching, especially with our how our beliefs are. Mm-hmm. Veggie Tales. <laughs> yep. Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. I got it. Tall, green, and handsome. Oh yeah. Larry. Larry boy. Carry the Lou Lumber. <laughs> Carry the Lou Lumber. Yep. 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 That's how that. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. I I used to enjoy that. I mean, what's funny is, is that right. Veggie Tales I actually didn't watch or like growing up. When I got older, I actually started liking Veggie Tales. Really? <laughs> I like it much better now than I did when I was a kid. Mm. Are you ready? No. <clears throat> a group of friends need to take down this monster or whatever it wants to be, but the whole time you're trying to decide whether you're scared of it or if you should be laughing at it. But one thing we know, it has some freaking sick dance moves. A TV show or movie? Movie. Got it. It's a movie. I, what's funny is that at first I thought it might have been Stranger Things. Mm. Uh, but no, I don't. What well, do you think, Waffle Boy? Well, th- <laughs> thank you, Presley. Oh, I got wow. that. I'm not sure about that one, guys. <laughs> I can't. I can't do I this. Can't, I can't do what this. This is the last time you have food on the on this podcast. <laughs> this was a good cookie. <laughs> the seven right. point five has become an eight. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry. No. Why did I do that? No, listeners, I'm so Why sorry. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Do I need to say um, it again? Yeah. Okay. I, I had it and I lost it because of that. You need to pay. Okay, I got it. Close attention, because that was a hint. There are hints in this about it, literally what what it is. What it is. Ready? Okay. A group of friends need to take down this monster or whatever it wants to be, but the whole time you're trying to decide whether you're scared of it. Or if you should be laughing at it. But one thing we know, it has some freaking sick dance moves. Is this a newer movie that we all watched together? One of them. Did we see okay. it in theaters? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we saw it all together, but one of them is a newer movie, yeah. In theaters? Oh, wait, just one of them? So. Oh, so no? it's not Smile. No, we didn't see it in theaters. I thought it might have been Smile. Megan? No, it's I thought not it was Megan. Oh, you zacked it Dance there. moves. Mm. Dance moves. Monster. Oh, yeah, true, because it does dance. I forgot about that. So yeah. I said monster or whatever it wants to be. What it's does that mean? Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Whatever it identifies as. <laughs> it's I, not I mean, a physical kinda, It's not a physical monster. It's almost like an that. entity. No, it's a physical monster. It is. But um, there is certain box. that. It's <laughs> whatever. That Come on. could have gone everywhere. Come on, guys. Let's focus in. <laughs> So distraught. Okay. Anyway, all right. all right. it's, all right. it's a monster or whatever it wants to be. So it's a thing or anything else. Is it a concept? It this monster can transform itself into It can anything. turn into an all oh. Wait, say the description again. One more again? Yeah, I think Take I close got attention. It. A group of friends need to take down this monster, or whatever it wants to be, but the whole time you're trying to decide whether you're scared of it, or if you should be laughing at it. But one thing we know, it has some freaking sick dance moves. That is so unbelievably obvious now that I know what it is. That is the most tense given in a freaking description. Oh my gosh. So he is right. We all watched it together one night. Or at least all of us, maybe minus one person. It was at your place. Yeah. When we were done with this movie, almost all of us said that might be the worst (laughs) movie we've ever seen. I got it now. Yeah. All right. So on three. Oh. Oh, I just said cha-ching. You can oh, count okay. down. One, two, two three. three. It. It. Wow. Is it. Yeah, that no, is it. When you that was actually, good. Yeah, that was very good. When I went back and heard it, he kept emphasizing it, it. over and over again. Oh, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I I've said, said it one, two, three, four times. <laughs> he job. said the title of the movie that four times. <laughs> that was slick. Thank you, sir. You're yeah, and now I, I see the dance moves. Yep. Yeah. 
Good job. Thanks. That was very oh, good. My. That was good. All right. You ready? That one might have been the best one. Just because the that other one be, came from yeah. Presley, though, and that just surprised me. I still might have to give it to Presley. You ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Movie or TV show? Did you get this, this off the internet? Is a mo- yeah. So don't look at my screen. We all have our own, and then he gets the internet. The other one I did was original, and it was good. 50%. Exactly. That's a failing grade. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you won't get it. Okay. Perfectly pleasant society turns to chaos by the introduction of a female. Perfectly pleasant society. I mean, I have a guess. Supergirl. By mm-hmm. No. The introduction of a Thank female. Thank you. Because you said movie, right? I did say movie if you was were listening. This, was this around like... <laughs> Is that a super? Was this around like 2012-ish? Yeah, ish. I think I, I may have. You got it? I think I may. Well, is it one that we've done before? Maybe a long, maybe in the first time we did badly explained. Okay, I was going to say, because I thought that we've done this one. You are an encyclopedia. Well, I am no... My one talent <laughs> is with lists, apparently. Yeah. That's my only 2012. talent. <laughs> if it, well, if it's the movie I'm thinking Female. of, I don't know if it was exactly 2012, but it was around that time. You want it again? I was going to say, I have a guess. I don't know if I should just say it, though. Well, let me say this. Perfectly pleasant society turns to chaos by the introduction of a female. Yeah, because perfectly, because I'll say this. What? It's perfectly pleasant. It's not actually a perfectly pleasant no. society. Okay. Not really. Yeah, okay. I and by done. society, I mean like a... Yeah, like I... A, is this yeah. animated? No. No. Live action, about 2012. Is there a big, like, famous actor in it? Yep. Mm, there is. If we're thinking maybe of the same not. Thing. Okay, maybe we're not thinking of the same thing. There's well, not. famous for our time. At least she oh. blew up at the time, didn't she? Maybe. I thought so. Should I just say it? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Is it the Hunger Games? No. No. Oh, I thought it was that. No. I have no idea. You were guys. really into this series. Harry series. Potter. Oh, it, wait. I think it was going to be a series of movies. Wait, it's not Hunger Games. Is it the one that's kind of similar to Hunger Games? It's not detergent. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not detergent. The Maze Runner? Yeah. Oh, I would have never what's funny is that. that's actually kind of similar to the Hunger Games. They all it kind is. of fit a similar role. That was that period of time when I tried reading, <laughs> and I, <laughs> I almost got through the book. That was that was period of time series. where I tried reading. It's great. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not even lying. I did try to read that. I, I forgot you know. about the Maze Runner being a movie. You're right. We have not done that. Reading. I thought we did. No work. Movies. TV <laughs> shows. It's okay. Badly. Joey Votto. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. He's he's back. I don't like to read. <laughs> Three. Wait, by the oh, are you ready? Movie or TV show, oh, I was gonna oh, say. Uh, this uh, is a TV show. Okay. I'm ready. Gonna say? Yeah, I'm ready now. Alright. Thanks for asking. Three by the book chicks turn into some baddies because they make <laughs> dough. Money. Maybe. Or pizza. Chicks. Or croissants. Women. Females. Money. Money. I think I have cash. I think I have it because it's three women. Three women. Because it's three of them. You said TV show? Baddies. TV show? Oh, wait, no. TV show? show, Never mind. I don't have it. Okay. (laughs) I've got it. I don't have it. I was winking at If it was a movie, I thought maybe. No. Have I seen this? I don't think so. You've seen the first episode. Well, that. That might be a giveaway. In the first episode. Do I know what this is? Did you show it to me or something, oh, Preston? No. Oh, Why well, not? okay. Because I thought a, that you were describing maybe Charlie's Angels. It's a Netflix original, right? I actually have no idea. Let's say it is. I think it is. I think so. Hint. Hink. So, what's hint, the opposite hink. of a baddie? Someone who's... Goody. The synonym. Good. Oh, good girls? Yep. Yep. Okay. I don't even know if that I, is. I will say I That's have a not. Good show. I have not watched it myself. My parents have watched it. That's a good show. It's pretty good. Yeah. Intense. Oh, they're camping. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Good talk, guys. Right. That, was, that was nice. Evan has one more. Oh, we're doing mine. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Oh, okay. You don't, yeah. I'll I'll, say, the only yeah. problem is I don't think you guys know this TV show is the only problem. So or I don't do we? I don't think you do. Is the thing. I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll try. I just don't. If you don't know it, don't be mad at me. Okay. All right. Anika Montoya is protecting his homeland by sleeping with terrorists, but in his defense, his daughter's doing the exact same thing. Yeah. Nika Montoya? 
An Michael Mombra. Anigo Montoya is protecting his homeland by sleeping with terrorists. But in his defense, his daughter is doing the exact same thing. So it's not actually Montoya, but it's, is it the actor? It's the actor. Yeah. I don't even know what it looks like. You told me about this movie a while ago, and I can't remember. It's not. It is a TV show. I can't remember. He's. I mean, he's from... I mean, he's from The Princess Bride. That's where Diego Montoya comes from. Go, Diego, go. Yeah, exactly. No, it's the same. I was going to say, I don't think you guys... I'll say it one more time. Diego Montoya is protecting his homeland by sleeping with terrorists. But in his defense, his daughter's doing the exact same thing. I'm glad you can say that word, because if I tried, <laughs> we might have to <laughs> stop the podcast. Oh <laughs> that is wow. hard to get out. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not that hard. Okay. It is uh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking okay. is hard. Well, anyway, because I thought that you guys may not know the, uh, the, the TV show, I actually put the title of the TV show in the description. Say it again. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> now you'll get, okay. Inigo Montoya is protecting his homeland by sleeping with terrorists, but in his defense, his daughter is doing the exact same thing. Sleeping with terrorists. No. Terrorists. Homeland. Same thing. Homeland. What? Never heard of it. Yeah, I figured you guys probably never heard of it. It's a really good TV show. I highly recommend it. Uh, It's very good. It has to do with the CIA and uh, kind of like their dealings with different things, but it's actually a Hmm. phenomenal show. Sounds very original. I'm just joking. (laughs) Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it for today's episode. Remember to check out Awkward Tech with Leighton and Presley to see their first episode and many more to come. Um, Make sure to go, you know, if you got any suggestions for what they should talk about, what kind of techie stuff they should, should, you know, discuss and um, in what realm of the world or the tech world, let them know. So make sure to check that out. Um, what else? What else we got going on? What else is coming up? Join the Discord, bro. Yeah, join the Discord. We we, we want to talk to you guys. We um, do. Join us on or uh, look us up relay. on relay. Make sure to use code the awkward tapes on relay when you download that. Let us know how you like that. Um, and how that has made movie night for you. Um, hopefully in a couple weeks we'll have everybody on again. It's been a long, been a long time. It's summertime yeah. and uh. We're pretty busy, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, yeah, man. You know, yeah, man. yeah we'll, sure, man. we'll always be here for you, the viewer. Maybe not Zach, but we will. Right, Zach? Unless we're out. Right. Good yeah. night. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining us for a session of awkwardness. Late night like cooking. Oh, I miss it.